Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file. They're having trouble with color mapping. And the reason they're having trouble with the color mapping is the colors in the vector files are CMYKs. And when you go to print and pick your laser, go to preferences and go to color mapping, your color mapping should be and probably is RGB. So we need to change those colors. And to make the video a little faster, I'm going to select these and delete everything else because there's so many green lines that it's going to take forever to find them all. And I don't want to bog down the, uh, make the video that long. So just go, so if you can imagine if you had a whole page of them, go to edit, find, and replace, find object, begin a new search next. We're going to look for outlines, property outlines, next. We're going to go to colors. We're going to have to move this over a little bit. Get your eyedropper and click where you see it says green. You see the CMYK. And then you can go next, finish, find all. And it found all those. CMYK colors, but we're going to right click and make them all RGBs. Now, if I would have done that to the whole page, it would have done the whole page. And also, let me just back up a little bit. You need to do the same thing for your red lines. Your red lines are CMYKs. So you need to do the same thing for that. Let's just uh, let's pick out a little bit of the red. So it won't take so long on the video. And let's delete all this. Because it's going to take it a little bit to find it. Maybe not so much the red as it was going to be the green. But as we can see, the red is CMYK. So we're going to go to edit, find and replace, find object, begin new search. We're going to find outlines, outline properties. Next, click on the color. Go to your eyedropper tool and pick that red. And then go finish or next, finish, find all. And then right click your mouse on your RGB red. And as you can see, now our reds are RGBs. So if you would have done that for the whole page in just a couple of, yeah, depending on how fast your computer is, but it'll find all those and change all those lines. So then when you go to color mapping, you can color map it. And uh, evidently the red is cut through, which would be like 100 power at whatever speed, 10 speed. And then the green will be 100 power like at 50 speed. So it goes real fast. It just marks it. So it's vector engraving it. Real sharp lines. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. And thank you for watching.